Where are my goggles? Where did I put my goggles? All right, getting back to- Oh, come on! You're parting- you're parting gift to me? Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff, day 159. Uh, today I want to get to work on that, uh, building that Krampus farm. It's time to, it's time to, to, to level up our backpack situation. But first, I would like to place a couple more, a couple more of these signs. And I noticed they did, they did a bit of, uh, of optimizing with these signs. They seem, they seem much higher quality now. Like, they, you get better definition on the items and such. Happy to see that. But unfortunately, it's still a little difficult to place them right on top of the chests. Not, not completely impossible, but, uh, but very difficult. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, what's Rot doing in there? Rot does not belong there. Rot belongs over here. And we do have a couple more, a couple more feather pencils, so... Uh, you know, just to remind myself- oh god, we're out of- we're out of wood. We're gonna need wood for today's build. So, I need a space for- I need a space for this farm. And I'm thinking I want to put it over here. This is like really out of the way. It's it's past the it's past the guards. There's I wouldn't generally do a ton of building out here anyway. So the yeah, I think it's a good place to put the Krampus farm. And we're gonna need a little bit of space for it, just a little bit, not too much. Uh, but I will grab some tools for clearing the space. I'll grab this stuff, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make another shovel. No worries. Anything else? Any other tools we need? No. Let's just head over there and uh, take a look at take a look at the space and what we're gonna have to clear from it. Uh, looks like we gotta do a bit of clearing out around here. I'm gonna throw on my full armor. Oh, I should I should keep this on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, clear out the brambles. But I think there should be enough space around here for for the things we need, all the things we need. So I'm gonna need. Let's see. Let's let's say. Let's take a look at the build real quick. Oh dang! Oh dang! That just spawned a ton of scorpions. Wow! Where did all you guys come from? Oof. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to deal with you guys right now. Let's just make a. Let's make a trap. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's just trap ya. It's the easiest thing to do. The easiest. Alright. Chop all this stuff down. Yeah, we are right on the edge of the poisonous bile. Maybe that's good. Maybe that'll be a good thing. Hello! Come to my trap. Come to my trap. Yeah, the largest part of this is 5x5. Five five, and I think that'll be enough space. Get in that trap. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Let's just get this last guy. Come on. It's cool that you get kind of the the gassy, uh, cr uh, like some some of the gas sort of carries over. It's kind of cool, I think. All right. Five by five, and it looks like yeah, I got to clear out a few more brambles. No worries. Now, uh, this one too. Gonna have to heal up after this. Where did I put my goggles? Oh, there they are. Where are my goggles? Where did I put my goggles? How about... Focus, focus, focus. My pitchfork. Alright. Five by five. But realistically... One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if I were making a square, then it would have to be five by five. But realistically, it's three by three. And with, with like, one... Oh, I mean, you, you'll see what I mean. Like, this is the outermost part. So it kind of cuts diagonally. Like this. And then diagonal. Three more over here. Diagonal. And then three more over here. I think I did that right. I'll find out after I dig everything up. Yeah. Alright, now let's dig up everything in between. All right, everything is cleared out from the area that I need to place turf down. So now I'm going to head back. I, got, I picked up a bunch of items in doing that. And it's okay. I got to run back and grab some grab some more turf. And uh, I probably, yeah, we, we actually have to make a ton of turf. That'll be the next step. And hopefully the wood is ready in our farm. Because we're going to need a lot of boards for this. As always, always need, always need more boards. But it'll also be a good opportunity to get back, make a new weapon. Heal up a little bit because I lost a little bit of health uh, 
knocking all those brambles down. Oh, and I made some food. How forward thinking of me. Oh dang, I made a lot of food. I should probably bundle some of it up. Yeah, because most of that stuff's going to go bad by the time I get I get around to... Yeah, let's bundle it up. And let's bundle that up too. Where the hell are you coming from, man? There's like no... There's nothing over here. There's nothing here for you. Ugh. Honestly, he keeps just dis He disappears. I don't understand why he keeps uh, respawning. It's a little strange. Anyways, I need to clear up my inventory. This is why we need a Krampus sack. Telling you, we need a Krampus sack. All right, well, I can trade a few of these things with uh, the Audi dude. Hello. And I got some chitin too. You can take that. I don't need anything from you at the moment. Okay. And then we just drop a few things off inside inside our house. A lot of tools. Ugh. Gonna have to find a more, uh, uh, more streamlined way of storing tools because this is, this is a bit more than necessary. Oh yeah, and we could drop the pitchfork because we don't need that anymore. All right, well, the trees are ready for the most part. Let's thump, let's thumpy thump. <laughs> that is so nice, so nice to be able to do. Looks like it's not, it's not hitting this tree. I'm guessing, oh, it does hit the tree. I'm guessing eventually we'll have a line of trees, like a perimeter around here of, uh, of trees that are, are unreachable by the thumper. I can take off my take off my stick for this part. This is good. We're gonna need to make lots of uh, lots of wooden flooring. Let me check. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, we're gonna need 16 wooden flooring, and we're also gonna want to make some beard hair rug. So I want to check my check my loot stash. Uh, my uh, my collection of beard hair. I'm pretty sure we don't have nine pieces of beard hair. Uh, and then what else do we need? Oh, we you know we also originally did some cobble. It's not super necessary, but I suppose we could, I suppose we could do it as long as we've got the wood to farm. But I should probably, uh, before I get to building too much, I should, uh, I should replant all these pine cones. Make sure we keep wood coming. Keep that wood coming because we will eventually need lots and lots more. Oh, and spiders! Perfect! Hello, buddy! Come on over here. Yeah, you guys are getting a little close. Little close. A little close. Too close for comfort. Oops! Oh, wow, I got, I actually got two in there. Oops. All right, let's let's do this the correct way. All right, good. Oh, you dropped three. Excellent. Yeah, I should probably I should probably get around to uh uh uh. Oh yeah, this the spider tree is like right on top of. Oh God, they're right next to my base. When did that happen? When did that happen? Yeah, let's clear these guys out. So yeah, there there might be some things we have to get to before we can complete the Krampus farm today. But it'll be good. It'll be good stuff to, uh, to focus on. Uh. Uh. Yeah, let's clear the spiders. Because we do need to, the beard hair. I do not want you guys stomping around here. Yeah, you're right on top of the nettles. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's aggro one at, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time, kids. One at a time. Oh, man. Look at all these trees. Right up against our base. Very good. Very good thing to be focusing on. Okay, you know, before I even before I even do anything with the tree farm, I need to I need to clear out these trees for sure. Uh, let's just drop these and uh, yeah, drop some stuff off. Grab our axe and our shovel and chop down these spider trees because we do not want them right right on top of our base. Axe, shovel, another axe, sure. Drop all this stuff off, clear our inventory, and then get to work chopping those trees down. I'd say if you're gonna base next to a rainforest, learn from my mistake and uh, and chop chop the rainforest trees down as soon as possible. It seems like the spiders will only go for actually I can't say that yes, but it it does seem like they only really go for rainforest trees that are in the deep forest. So you probably want to chop down those trees that are in the forest, unless you really have a fetish for spider monkeys and just want tons and tons of silk. It's generally a good idea to just uh, take preemptive action on these boys and chop them down before they turn into this mess. Before they turn into this mess. Let's see. Yeah, like all these other rainforest trees, I should probably just chop them down because they will eventually get cocooned up and infected. But 
now that, uh, uh, even saying that, I might. <laughs> now that we only have a few of them left, no, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take care of them now. I don't want to have to deal with them at a bad time in the future. Let's just knock them down. I'll save all the I'll save all the burrs. Uh, yeah, you know we these two. Let's just let's just take them down. This means we might have to deal with some some scorpions. Lovely. Here comes BFB. I gotta lure her over. Oh, so nasty. Nasty girl. Nasty, nasty. Yeah, let's lure you over here so that you can. And please don't knock. Please don't poop anymore. No more. No more. Just land. And we can be rid of you. Land, girly, land. Here she comes. And look. You can't reach me. I'm so out of reach. <laughs> All right. Getting back to oh come on your parting your parting gift to me, that's so disgusting. I really don't I don't want to I don't want to watch you do it. Oh I just don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it happen. Let's just clean up your mess. All right, let's drop these things back off and then uh, then get back to picking all that wood up. You know I'll I'll just say it. This game is this game is absolutely amazing. I love playing it, and it's just so challenging keeping. Uh, Keeping track of goals because there's always something that's going to interrupt you while you're playing something that becomes more urgent than the thing that you're working on and uh, That's actually one thing that having having a, uh, a series an ongoing series has been really uh, really useful for me Especially after discovering that I could edit videos so that you don't watch me run around like a weird person and feeling like I have to fill every moment with something something interesting and new when the fact of the matter is there's a lot of this game that just has to happen and is not particularly fun to watch. I still enjoy doing all this stuff and like I, I do every, I, I do everything by hand <laughs> unless you know I need to spawn a twig. but that is those those occurrences are few and far between I promise. I promise. <laughs> I suppose I can't prove that I'm playing a pure game at this point because, you know, I do a lot of cutaways and editing, but I would hope that you'd believe me when, uh, if I do have to, if, if I do have to use console, that I do that on screen, which hasn't happened, hasn't happened all that often. And that's a good thing. <laughs> but it also means that I'm able to do a lot of monotonous things off camera that you would absolutely not be interested in watching me do, like... Pick up logs from trees and refining boards from logs, which ends up taking a lot of time. Like, look at this. We're already full up. We are already completely full up on logs. That was a good harvest. My word. That was a good harvest. Okay, yeah, like, I'm gonna make some boards right now. You want to see a time lapse of that? You want to see me just, like, racing through racing through logs like it's, like it's butter? I didn't think so. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut away and, uh... These these 200 plus uh, logs are going to magically turn into 50 something boards with the power of video editing and Voila one two three four five six almost seven full stacks of boards. That ain't too bad I've got to I gotta be honest um, and we did we did increase our pine cone count a little bit I will plant these now and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this out because what I would like to do is leave a little path to get to the Get to the thumper. There's no there's no reason not to to not not be able to see see the thumper and when the trees grow f completely full uh, They do definitely Get in the way of seeing the thumper. So I'm gonna drop these boards off replant replant all the pine cones yummy And also why I ha while I have the three eggplants and the and the logs and the pig skins I'm just gonna go ahead and build this grocer to place in the middle of our Krampus farm Let's just grab the key for that. Key is right here. Excellent. And I believe when you pre-build it, it stays in your... Yeah, like you don't need the key to go place it, which is great. That means I don't have to bring the key all the way over to the Krampus farm. All right. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to plant these. Oh, I, I got I to gotta knock that tree down. I got to do it. Let's do that. Shovel. Axe. Oh, perfect. 4% Four, 4 left, so that'll kill the shovel. And give us a couple more pine cones to plant. I could make a little like whoa, there was another there was another tree right there? I didn't even see you. I guess we're gonna have to make another shovel. Oh well. Another shovel. 
right here. That. And this one, as long as we're... You know, as long as we're chopping, let's just... Well, no, because we are going to end up with a perimeter of trees that can't be reached. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I gotta... I'll use turf eventually to sort of make a... Make a... Make a marker, like, where... Where these trees will end up... Where, sh where they should start being planted. But for now, I'll just make a pathway like this. Yeah. I don't need to describe this too much to you. I'm just gonna plant the pine cones, and that'll be that. Yeah, these pine cones are definitely not all gonna get reached by this thumper. Which is good. It means we're, we're getting... We're getting the pine cone count up. But it also means we're gonna have to start thinking about where the next where the next thumper is going to go, because I'm definitely going to want to farm more more trees than this. But at least it'll look pretty filling up the whole space. <laughs> and then we'll end up with the perimeter, which, the more I think about it, maybe we don't want, because it's going to get in the way of planting, planting pine cones. So I'm not sure that it's something I'm super interested in. Uh, let's see. I guess, well, there's still some space up here. Yeah, definitely not going to reach those. Oh, well. Well, it's going, it's ready, and, uh... I think we are actually out of time for this episode. We've begun work, and beginning beginning work is always a good thing. Uh, just means it might take a few more episodes to actually finish the Krampus farm, which, hey, you know what? We got time. We got time for all of this. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you're enjoying the series. Look forward to finishing the Krampus farm in the next video, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.